Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs, and in our today's part of the M Show, what every maker should have one, as you can see, it's tweezer time. Now, I've uh, collected uh, the tweezers that we use here most often at the lab, and I've also brought some from my home lab, and uh, we'll sort them out one by one if they are useful or not. And uh, let's start with uh, this one. You can't see easily the difference between this one and the other black ones here on the right. This one is made totally out of uh, plastic. I once had a whole uh, set of them and this is the last that remains because I threw all the others away. I think they are not very useful, although they are said to be uh, ESD safe probably uh, because they are out of a conductive plastic. But um, due to uh, the flexibility of the plastic, uh, you can't exert a very great uh, force with them. And that means that you relatively often lose the thing that you either want to hold or pick up. And uh, as I already told you, uh, this is the last one I found because all the others uh, have ended their life in the dustbin, so uh, not a recommendation from me. Next are these uh, black ones, which are quite similar to the uh, blank ones here. The basic difference is these are uh, ESD safe. They also have a uh, high ohmic um, um, paint, uh, black paint above them. Um, to be honest, uh, they are much more expensive than, than the blank ones and I do not think that it's worth uh, the price difference because when you are working with either ESD sensitive components or in an uh, ESD susceptible environment, then you are wearing a, a conductive wristband anyway, which uh, cheap one I, I already uh, showed you more than once. Um, so if, if you are working with an uh, ESD wristband, then uh, why pay the higher price for these special uh, ESD uh, tweezers? So um, though, although I do have these in my hobby lab, um, I don't recommend them for their higher price. So what remains is uh, this handy and relatively cheap tweezer set out of uh, seven different sized and different angled uh, tweezers. They are from uh, stainless steel, non-magnetic, as you can read. Uh, they are very good for, they are, have very sharp uh, tips, at least the first six one, the seventh one has a non-sharp um, shovel kind um, tip. Um, they are basically all that you can need and for their price, 90% uh, of the work uh, uh, you can do with uh, this set. So that's my first recommendation. And you won't believe it, but the most often used tweezers at home in my hobby labs is this, this one or this kind uh, of tweezers. I bought them as a boy uh, for stamp collecting and uh, you get exactly the same one for electronics uh, purposes. The main difference is they do not, not have sharp uh, tips or sharp jaws, uh, but instead of that they have a teethed, uh, uh, the inside of the jaws are teethed, and that makes uh, gripping or grabbing uh, components or wires uh, very good because uh, when you have slippery cables or any slippery parts, uh, the, the teeth uh, inside surface um, prevents that uh, they uh, slip away. And uh, we have them in, in two, uh, uh, two different sizes or two different ways, the, the straight one and the angled one. And as a secret tip for a specialized work are these reverse action tweezers. A normal tweezer, when you um, push them together, then uh, the jaws are closing. And with the reverse action or inverse tweezers, the opposite happens, which means they are normally closed 
and um, when you uh, press them then they open and I'll show you one example where we use them here at the lab. Uh, there are these little electrode uh, condenser uh, microphone capsules and uh, when you have to or when you want to solder uh, some cables to the two very delicate leads it's uh, extremely uh, handy uh, not to put them in a vise because a vise, the, the danger of uh, breaking it uh, is much too big. Uh, just put them in this reverse action uh, tweezers and you can easily solder uh, wires uh, to them. And we have these inverse action tweezers in uh, two different models. Uh, again, the straight one and uh, the angled one. Uh, to be honest, the straight one is the most useful. So when I would suggest a minimum of what to buy, it would be exactly this, the six piece uh, precision uh, um, tweezer set, especially for ESD work. The, well, let's call them the stamp collectors angled um, tweezers and the reverse action straight one. So that's my, my recommendation. If I would only have these here at the lab or at home, I would be, uh, that would be totally sufficient for all the work that I can remember where I needed any tweezers. So that was it for today. I hope you liked it. And um, if you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, alternatives, suggestions, as always, go to the forum or leave it in the YouTube comments. Until next time, bye from Kainka Labs.